Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Candy Cane Reusable Bubble Bar. This is a returning product uh, from the Christmas range that Lush Cosmetics does uh, and this is for 2020 in case you're watching this in the future. So this uh, bubble bar has very very simple scent ingredients and it's simple ingredients in general uh, it's got sodium carbonate cream of tartar sodium laurel sulfate glycerine laurel betine perfume sicilian lemon oil bergamot oil and some other bits and pieces colors and things like that so very very simple ingredients list which i do like because that means that people with allergies may be able to use it uh, depending on what your allergy is with bath products so that's always a good thing to have something like that now I do love the design very Christmas like candy cane obviously you know very fitting name for the design of the product uh, yeah so those of you who have not used a reusable bubble bar or are not super familiar with that formula from Lush basically it is what it says it is a bubble bar that can be reused multiple times now the best way I like to use it is I like to cut my hands somewhat holding it in the hands and as the stream of water is coming down whilst I'm in the bath I literally just cut my hands and I put the bubble bar underneath um, and let the stream of the water hit it full blast and then at about halfway through the bath, sometimes maybe two thirds, depends um, on how many bubbles I'm getting from it. I then just put it to the side of the bath, either in a soap dish or a container of some description and just leave it there and let it dry. And yeah, that, that's how it sort of works for me. Now, I don't have it with me right now because I did very, very recently use it almost about an hour ago and it is still drying up. But what I will say is I think you could get maybe three or four baths out of this. Um, so it is great value for money in that way as well. Really, really good. Uh, so I wish I could show you on camera, but I am trying to just film tonight and get some more reviews in uh, and try and stay on top of it. So I do apologize for that. Um, I might just put a little bit of video footage near the end of it. I think I might do that. Yeah, at the very end, I'll put some video footage for you. Um, so you guys can see what it looks like after one use. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Um, now, in terms of the scent, there's not a lot going on. Um, I have had a couple of subscribers say that as well, that they're kind of disappointed with the scent. I don't get lemon oil. I don't get bergamot oil from this at all. Um, I get a very, very faint peppermint smell. And I don't know if that's just my brain playing tricks on me because it's a candy cane shape and everything. Yeah, I when I did my unboxing, my Christmas unboxing, there was like a faint sweetness and a faint peppermint smell. That's all I got from it. And yeah, I don't get anything from it, honestly. Um, when I used it, I was so disappointed uh, with the scent. There was just nothing there. And the color of the water is not very pleasant either. It's kind of like this cloudy, very weak orange color. It looked almost like just that the water was dirty not really pleasant and I will show you a little clip of that as well um so yeah very very disappointed with this one uh, the only good thing about it is the bubble yield the bubble yield is actually really really good for this one really good so for that reason alone I'm going to give it a two out of five just because it had good bubble yield and I think that you could definitely use this in conjunction with other bath products whether that be a bath bomb um, or if you're using a lot of soaps in the bath I don't think it'll matter that much um, or a very heavily scented shower gel if you're using that in the bath I don't think it'll um, bother you too much about the original scent of the bubble bar if that makes sense um, I've said it on a few of my Christmas videos as well you know this is the time of year for gift giving and Lush often does Christmas some pr Christmas products that are a little bit more mild uh, for gift giving purposes so you know this is a good one to give as just a stocking filler um, or just a small gift of appreciation for someone but besides that it's yeah it's very overrated I I don't like it that much um, and it's it's a shame because it could have been like this really rich peppermint sweet smell um, and it could have complemented uh, the range really well but unfortunately not to be uh, but yeah I've got high hopes for polar bear plunge which is something that I still have to review that bubble bar apparently that has uh, a very minty smell 
So I'm pretty excited about that. And I've got a couple of other ones that I have to review as well. So yeah, if you like the sound of that, then stay tuned, subscribe if you like. Uh, and until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned for the demo. Bye for now. So here is the water of the candy cane reusable bubble bar. It's kind of like this murky orange color. I haven't had any soap or anything in this bath. This is literally the color it is. And my legs are in the shot, obviously. Um, yeah, so not really pleased with the color. It kind of looks like weak cordial or something like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so here is what the drying bubble bar looks like. It is quite late at night, so I have to be a little bit quiet. But yeah, you can definitely see the holes starting to form where parts of the bubble bar have been taken off. It's definitely a little bit thinner in the stem as well. So yeah, you, you could definitely get three or four uses out of this one easily. Thanks for watching.